Hi, this is Charlie Sutterfield. In the first part of this series, we talked about stacked walls and kind of pulling those apart and looking at the different walls that make up the stack and then going in and uh, making changes to those wall types and then looking at the stack and see how that was affected. So uh, the goal there was to uh, illustrate that the changes that are made to the individual wall types uh, appear in the stack. And if we want to maintain um, the original wall types, but we want to change the stack, then really what we need to do is to create a new wall type that will be used in the stack. Um, and that way we can pull that forward and not make any changes to the existing. So hopefully that all made sense. Now what I want to do is go in and look at wall materials. And so I want to take a look at um, what's going on with these existing walls. So let me just click on one of these brick walls. It doesn't really matter which one. I chose the original uh, brick on metal stud. I'm going to click on edit type and where I'm headed in here is to look at um, the material. So if your screen doesn't match mine, um, what I've done here is click on edit structure and then uh, to get into the wall I've clicked on the preview button down here in the lower left hand corner of um, that edit assembly dialog box and then I changed from a plan view to a section view and again the reason why I like to do that uh, let me zoom in on that wall just a little bit as I cycle through the various uh, components of my wall or layers of my wall it'll highlight those in blue for me so I can see exactly what it is that I'm looking at so anyway um, so I'm looking at the preview of the wall and what I want to do is dive down into this material a little bit. I'm going to make that a little bit wider. And so in that material, for this exterior layer, let me highlight it, that exterior layer is just masonry brick. And I want to take a look at how many bricks we have available um, to look at here. So I'm going to click on the material. And it takes me into the materials dialog box. And if I look at my materials list over here on the left-hand side, I can see that I've got uh, several masonries in here. Um, masonry, masonry brick, brick soldier course, um, CMUs, split face CMUs, glass block stone, tile. And so those are my choices for masonry. But I only have one brick, and it's that red color that I'm seeing there. Uh, remember up here on the graphics tab, if I'm using graphics, I'm seeing what I'm going to see when I'm just looking in my regular model views. I'm not seeing what I would see if I rendered. If I render this uh, material, I'm going to see this appearance that's happening. Let's uh, give it a minute. I'm seeing this appearance that's happening here. That's actually a photo of a brick wall. Let me uh, click on it to open the photo. Give it a second to update. And you can actually see there uh, the photo that was taken that will be used for the rendering itself. I'm going to click out of that. And so remember you've got two different things going on. One is graphics and one is appearance. I think you should change both of those um, because you'll have both things be different uh, during rendering and during graphics. You don't want to get yourself confused. You want to keep those things straight. So I'm going to go back to the graphics tab here. And um, what I really want to do is to create another brick material. And so I've got brick. And what I'm going to do is to rename this brick. So I'm going to call this brick red. And so brick dash red. And click OK. And nothing changed over here. All I, did, all I did was I renamed this. But now what I'm going to do is do a duplicate of that. So in my lower left hand corner here I hit duplicate. And now I'm going to be able to call that um, brick beige and say OK. And so now I can see up here on um, the top of that window where it says masonry brick beige, I need to go in and make some changes because right now it's all going to look the same. So I click on uh, this color and let's see if there's one that I like as a starting point. Uh, no, not really. So let me slide this guy over and then slide this guy up a little bit and that looks pretty beigey, greeny, goldy to me. So I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to say OK. And so now 
when I go into a model view that has the beige brick, it's going to have that color instead of the red color. And then let me go over here to the Appearance tab. Now in here, I still have the red um, picture that I have for the rendering. Let me show you where they got that. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And um, I showed you this before, but let me click on the name of this. And it's going to take me to uh, the Materials Files. And these are all um, photos, actually, most of them, that have been uploaded already by um, Autodesk. Let me see if I can change this to thumbnails. There we go. And you can see, looking at the thumbnails, that there's all sorts of uh, materials already built into this thing. So if I wanted to, I could use one of these guys for my image instead. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, brick uniform yellow. I'm going to go with that use that for my um, image, click open, it'll update here, I say done, and it's going to update this uh, preview of my rendering, and so I'm good. Now, let's say that I wanted to go out to the web and find a different picture, or maybe go to a manufacturer and get a picture of an actual brick, or go to a client's existing structure and photograph what they've got going on to use in the rendering as well. All of those are appropriate things to do. Um, and you can change out your image. It's very easy to do, just like I just did it. Uh, you would just go out and get your image and put it in your pictures folder and just navigate to that instead of the materials folder, and you're good to go. So I'm going to say OK to that. And now what's happening here is that now that I've gone in and edited that material and made a duplicate, it went ahead and changed it in this wall. Well, that's not quite what I want to do. So I'm going to actually change that back. So let me get back into the materials dialog. I'm going to make that the red brick wall because I don't want to upset the apple cart here. So masonry, brick, red, OK, and OK, and OK. So nothing has changed yet, but I do have a new material that I could use. So let me go in here, and what I'm going to do is select that wall again. And this time I'm going to make a duplicate wall. So I click on Edit Type. I click Duplicate. And this time I'm going to call it uh, Brick on Metal Stud. Um, let me call it Brick Beige on Metal Stud. And click OK. And so now if I look at my drop downs there in my um, system family basic walls, I've got brick on metal stud, that'll be the red, and maybe I should go in and rename that, but I've also got the brick beige on metal stud. And so now I need to just go in and change that brick to the new brick material that I made. So right now it's set to brick red. Go in and change that. Slowly. And make that back here to graphics. Uh, make that brick beige. Say OK and OK and OK. So when I went in and duplicated that wall, uh, since I had selected this wall, uh, it already changed that one. So I need to draw another wall just to show you that I still have. I still have my. Um, exterior wall type and I haven't messed that up so uh, brick on metal stud that's what I started with so draw a little chunk of that and this will be the red brick wall so I've still got that as well so if I click on it to select it shows me that it's brick on metal stud if I click on this one to select it shows me that it's brick beige on metal stud so now I've got both of those so now what we might want to do is to use those in our stacked wall as different stripes. So one of the things that I did over here on this stack, I went in and um, my red brick wall type has reveals added to it. And what if I wanted to do those in yellow brick? What would be a good strategy for doing that? So I'm going to stop this video now and in the next one, we will look at adding yellow stripes to our reveals in our stacked wall.